So this is the flow stick. It's made of a type of stone and it's actually a gua sha tool. So gua sha has been used as an East Asian remedy for years and years and years. Um, so it's very traditional Chinese medicine based. Um, and what it is, it's, it's got a, a different shape to it because then you can use it um, in different ways on the skin. So as a practitioner, as a chiropractor, I use it a lot on my patients um, to in Include and increase blood flow um, as well as help reduce some inflammation um, and basically the shape of it is nice because you can get a, a firm grasp on it and basically what you'll be doing with it is stroking the skin unidirectionally so in the same direction so you never want to go forward and back you want to take a point and brush up or down in the same direction continually and as you'll see here slowly the skin starts to turn red so what's happening there is that there's some extravasation of the blood. Basically it's, it's helping to increase your circulation um, and with it it helps improve pain, reduce inflammation and kind of get, get deeper into the tissues. So it's a great way for me to use this on my patients uh, before I do deeper soft tissue therapy with them just to get, get things flowing into their, into their bodies. So you can use this in many areas. You can use it on um, all the different muscles. So if someone has a knee injury, you could use it kind of in the side here. You could use it on the, the thighs. You could use it on the low back. Um, there's been studies showing that it works well for neck pain or for migraines, for headaches. Um, so it's a lot of musculoskeletal based things that I see commonly is uh, what we can use this for. So next we're going to go through some of the safety features for the, the flow stick as well as the bomb that comes with it. So this bomb has a ingredients list on the back here so you just want to make sure before you use it that you're not allergic to any of the ingredients on the back and then there is a bit of a, a directional guideline there as well so you can use that again on there it says that redness is expected so we are trying to create redness when we use the gua sha technique um, and that is why it helps promote that with this so basically what you're going to be doing with this tool the flow stick it is porous so you want to make sure that more so this should be used for self-use, so you shouldn't be sharing this tool as much because the stone is porous. Um, if there's any transfer of bodily fluids or, or different things from the body, you don't want to transfer that to someone else. So it is best to be used on your own, um, on your own body and not shared with other people. So again, when we're doing the, the strokes, you will find the redness, as has been mentioned multiple times, and you, you don't want to overdo it in one particular area. So I would honestly do it for probably 30 seconds or less in one area, and then that's probably enough for the day. And the amount of pressure that you're going to want is um, kind of like if you were feeling to see if a tomato or a peach was ripe. That's the amount of pressure you want to put into the skin and then you'll just lightly guide it up the arm or down the arm or whatever part of the body you're working on. But again, it shouldn't be a ton of pressure trying to scrape into there because that's just going to cause too much aggravation, which is not what we want. So it should be fairly light strokes, but you do want to get in enough to kind of feel, feel your tissues through the tool and see if there's any areas that, that need to be worked on uh, more than others.